According to David Barker, a low weight at birth could be linked to later health problems like diabetes. And in India, there was no shortage of low birth weight children. Was the key to the disease already there in these tiny babies? Ranjan and his colleagues decided to find out if the Barker theory might explain what they were seeing. I was trained as an adult diabetes specialist and I was even more skeptical of this idea because we equated diabetes with overnutrition. So David Barker was describing the other end of the spectrum. We do have a large number of low birth weights and we, we are having a large number of diabetics. So we were probably in a good position to test his hypothesis. So why not try it? Ranjan and his colleagues began to follow a group of babies to see if their birth weight could be linked to later diabetes. Babies were measured when they were born, then at four years of age, and again at eight years. The scientists were looking for early signs of diabetes, for instance, a resistance to insulin. The first step was to show that birth weight was related to insulin resistance. And we did this by studying 200 children born in our hospital. The children from that original study are now 21. The scientists have records of their growth from the day they were born, as well as a library of blood samples. It is these blood samples that allow the scientists to find an early indicator of diabetes. A low birth weight seemed to be linked to a resistance to insulin. So children whom we had found to be low birth weight, they were more insulin resistant at four years, they were more insulin resistant at eight years, and they are still insulin resistant at 21 years. With passage of years, their blood glucose has started rising. There are other changes we can observe in the blood, which tell us that their risk of getting diabetes is now much higher than their colleagues who were not low birth weight. Ranjan was beginning to be converted to David Barker's seemingly strange idea that what happens to you in the womb affects your destiny. So David's idea that part of your destiny was sealed before you were born was difficult to understand for Westerners. But not for me. As an Indian, I believed that what happened in your earlier life, what your parents did, actually had a bearing on what happens to you in your life. This is the theory of karma. <laughs> 